Thank you, Joey, uh, for that discussion. Let's now move on straight to the Milimani Law Courts where we do expect Governor Kothobad of Migori to be arraigned today in connection to the killing of Sharon Otieno, a 26-year-old university student whose body was found in a thicket in Homobe a couple of weeks back. Our reporter Hassan Mugambi is on standby there with the latest. Hassan, a very good morning. Uh, has uh, the governor been arraigned yet? And uh, what other uh, thing can you tell us from that end? Well, a very good morning to you, Fred. He is already in the courtroom. He was uh, presented before the courtroom uh, very early this morning. Right now, we're just waiting for High Court Judge Justice Jesse Lesit, who will be hearing the matter to uh, be in the courtroom before the process begins. Remember, today is the day that uh, Okoth Obadu, the governor, after spending three nights in police custody at the Gigiri police station here in Nairobi, will be uh, uh, taking plea on whether or not not uh, he was involved directly or indirectly in the murder of uh, university student Sharon Otieno. He is expected to be uh, charged with abetting and aiding the murder of uh, that particular university student. So we are we already here in the in the court. We have seen his uh, lawyers uh, just you know presenting themselves uh, and uh, getting ready for the uh, preliminary objections that they will be presenting before the court, even as uh, the uh, case kicks off this morning so it's a wait and see and it's um, in, in any moment from now that is uh, 9 a.m we are expecting that uh, the justice will be present uh, coming into the courtroom and uh, will be you know getting to uh, read the charge uh, the clerks will be reading the charges and he will be taking plea on whether or not the officers will be uh, requiring more time remember this is an, an, a piece of investigation that has uh, taken a little over 20 days now and uh, they are uh, just uh, looking for what uh, bits and pieces to uh, bring about a very very solid case so whether they will be uh, asking for more time to detain the governor is something that we will be waiting to see upon and upon the uh, uh, commence commencement of this day, uh, uh, the, uh, this day's uh, you know uh, charge taking and of course uh, plea taking for uh, Mr. Obado, who has been presented before the court by homicide detectives very early this morning. So uh, he will be charged, of course, uh, uh, alongside. We are expecting that uh, Oyamo will be also there and uh, his bodyguard will be also there. That is uh, the expectation that we have here at the Milimani Law Court. Also in police custody, remember, Fred, uh, we also have uh, a driver who is uh, suspected to have uh, been uh, the the person uh, driving the ve uh, that vehicle that uh, was used in abduction of Sharon alongside a uh, nation uh, media group uh, journalist uh, Barack Oduor and also in police custody are, uh, is uh, Kenya Doto uh, M former Kenya Doto MCA uh, Lawrence Muller who is said to have been the link or the bridge uh, between Obado uh, you know Oduor and uh, Sharon uh, Otieno in uh, the uh, ahead of their murder, uh, of their abduction and subsequent murder that uh, very, very uh, fateful day on the 3rd of September this year. So it is a wait and see here at the Milimani Law Court and also we are informed that there is uh, a piece of demonstration that will be conducted by uh, several lobby groups that will be uh, starting their demonstration at uh, the Uhuru Park to march all the way here at uh, the uh, Milimani Law Court uh, just uh, uh, you know agitating for justice for Sharon. This is uh, 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 these are groups that uh, started a very very long time ago uh, almost over a week ago just uh, you know uh, holding night vigil in Nairobi and other towns and also uh, today they are expected to be uh, holding peaceful demonstrations uh, towards uh, this uh, particular cause uh, and that they have placed themselves on that is seeking justice for sure. Currently Obado is already in the courtroom and he will be facing those charges at uh, this, uh, when the clock strikes 9 a.m. Thank you, Hassan. Hassan Mugambi there, live from outside the Milimani Law Courts, where we expect Governor Kotho Obado of Migori to be, uh, to be arraigned. And of course, you can see uh, live pictures there from inside the court. The governor is already in the dock, awaiting the arrival of uh, the judicial officers. And uh, yes, the charges facing him are murder, abating murder, because yes, whether or not he was involved directly, whether or not he aided Every, any person who aids or abets another person in committing the offense, 
should, uh, will also be considered culpable of committing the offence. Every person who actually does the act or makes the, the omission which constitutes the offence. Every person who does or omits to do any act for the purpose of enabling or aiding another person to commit the offence. Any person who counsels or procures any other person to commit the offence. And these are some of the grounds uh, why Governor Kothobado may be charged in connection to the killing of Sharon Otieno. Of course, we'll continue bringing you live pictures from Milimari Law Courts as this process continues. Whether or not the governor will be expected to take plea, we still await to see. At the moment, they are waiting for the judge to make his or her way to the courtroom. Yes, those are live pictures from the Milimani Law Courts as Okotho Bado already in the dock awaiting the arrival of the judge. Uh, he's being arraigned in connection to the killing of Sharon Otieno.